Okay, another solution could be that we can facilitate the businessman and lower the cost of doing business. Another, this will lead to improvement in ease of doing business of Pakistan. Ranking right. Please quote the recent figures so that your answer is much more accurate when you're writing the essays. Okay, what it includes tax rebates, duty drawbacks, cross border trade facilitations, redu reduction in corporate taxes. It is very huge, right? It is 29% right at the moment, so it's very high. Power tariffs reductions and an environment that is friendly for the investors. Okay, broadening the tax base and revamping the tax system. Pakistan has less than 2 million income tax filers and one of the lowest tax to GDP ratios. So this is a thing of concern. We should what educate the people about the importance and means of to tax file, making e-filing more interactive and easy for them. Radra and FBR should form liaison in order to increase the number of tax filers. This is a much more viable and feasible solution. And Pakistan has a tax GDP ratio of 11.6%, which has shrunk from 13%. So it should be going upwards, now it's going downwards. So what will it will do? Its impact will be on the fiscal deficit. Then the conclusion is Pakistan has made some structural reform changes and that's why the, there has been a lot of economic downfall and it has managed to uh, uh, meet the criteria of structural reforms. The indicative targets set by IMF are missed related to power and tax refund areas but overall it's satisfactory and all the stakeholders need to demonstrate and work towards economic issues of Pakistan. Collaboration should be done for a visionary economic policy. The twin deficit that is the CAD deficit and the fiscal deficit will require long term effort so it should be persistent. Okay, recommendation to continue with the IMF program as this map clearly shows that previously the IMF when Pakistan to whenever the IMF program has been taken in 2009 for example it has fallen and then it increased and after each an IMF program there is growth there is an economic growth so that's why it's a good omen for Pakistan similarly if you look at the recommendations what they are recommending us they are recommending us on the performance criteria they are asking us to increase the reserves to put a ceiling on guarantees and to meet different criteria which we are doing at the moment and following them. Okay, another recommendation Pakistan has to couple up with a strong foreign policy as well and these list of visits of IK clearly suggest that we are on the right track. Another recommendation that Pakistan's government has shown is on the FATF. If you look at it, we have made compliance with most of them, largely compliant partially compliant and only four of the total FATF recommendations we have non-compliant is only four then if you look overall act economic activity for the 2020 the projected figures are provided for you because of the increase in the ease of doing business that Pakistan ranking has increased so it is expected that Pakistan's fiscal deficit will shift towards positive and it has already Moving towards that and on via via basis it will be a positive fiscal deficit. Fiscal surplus sorry. So it will be a surplus because Pakistan has curtailed current expenditures, good sign, vis-a-vis -vis development expenditures. Okay, another recommendation is there is an expectation of that a BPS that is basis point system of policy rate cut will be expected in Pakistan. This will did do what this will increase the investments in stock exchange. And the current SBB policy is 13.25%. The impact is shown in the diagram as well in the economics diagram. D1 to D2, the shift, it will shift the quantity of money. It will shift up. This interest rate downwards will increase the money supply. And this in turn will increase the AD, that is the aggregate demand. The recommendations, the decrease in PIB yield is clearly an indication that interest rates will remain constant in this quarter and will decrease in future. And these are the views that what will happen and the yields are given on the screen below. The impact of lower interest rates, what it happens, currency tends to depreciate, making exports more competitive, imports expensive. So what happens that inflationary pressure and it leads to more economic growth. Now expected economic growth due to